Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com. This is Manish and in this tutorial, we will learn about some of the key benefits of agile software development. So let's get started. So the first benefit of agile software development is early delivery of working software. So as we have discussed in the previous agile tutorials that the key benefit of following the agile development methodology, whether it's, um, it's Scrum or uh, Kanban or extreme programming, uh, the key benefit is the early delivery of the working software. If you're following Scrum, that means you're following sprints and sprints is time box two to four weeks cycle in which you pick up the user stories to start development. Uh, and those user stories need to be developed in form of, you know, like working software and tested and then to be uh, showcased or demoed to the stakeholders or the client. Um, in in form of the working software so rather than um, showing the uh, the documents or anything the key deliverable or uh, the key progress indicate indicator of the sprint is the working software so that's the first benefit of following a software uh, agile software development methodology that you get early delivery of a working software so every sprint that you work in in agile or in scrum um, you have some delivery or some progress in form of working software to demo it to the stakeholders. The second benefit is continuous stakeholder engagement. When you do the continuous delivery, if you're following Agile, every sprint you are showcasing or you are demoing your product or, or the incremental build that has happened uh, for that particular product to the stakeholders. So that that gives a lot of opportunity to the stakeholder to provide the feedback during the showcase as well as there is also a day-to-day -day interaction with the stakeholders or with the product owner um, during daily stand-ups and get the actual um, feedback around what's going on and if there are any kind of blocker uh, so that's the another benefit of agile software development that you get a continuous stakeholder engagement and feedback during the sprint and post the sprint when you are doing showcase um, and you get the feedback around the delivered uh, delivered uh, working software uh, after the sprint so that's the another very high um, uh, another benefit I would say uh, for agile software development now the third benefit is the transparency as you are delivering the software every sprint as you are doing the incremental build every sprint uh, in, in scrum methodology so everyone in the team knows what exactly uh, the whole development team uh, is doing within that sprint so you do the sprint planning uh, with with the product uh, stakeholders and uh, they, they know what is actually planned in that particular sprint. And then post the sprint, you do the showcase. So they also know what exactly they would be looking for at the end of sprint. So there is a high level of transparency in the whole process, in the whole agile software development. Uh, and everyone is aware what each and every individual in the team is working uh, because of the daily stand-up meetings. Uh, as well as during sprint planning, the whole uh, business stakeholders know what the whole team's goal is to achieve as part of that sprint. So transparency uh, is another benefit of agile software development. Uh, the fourth benefit is that agile software development embraces change. So it doesn't matter which methodology you follow, it's Scrum, Kanban, uh, agile software development embraces change as in uh, it's, it's not similar to the traditional methodology like waterfall wherein change was considered as as a high cost things because all the requirements need to be logged down to progress further 
of, with the de design and development but in agile you have a small set of requirement or you have a product backlog and the product manager can reprioritize the backlog as per the as as sprints are ongoing and then he might um, also add some new changes based on the market condition or his research uh, and the showcase or the delivery that has happened in the past sprints so if he feels that there there is a need of new additions or new stories to coin or new features to be added to whatever has been developed um, agile software development embraces that change and he can add a story in the backlog and then can, that story can be prioritized and worked upon in further sprints so embracing change is another key benefit of software agile software development uh, fifth benefit is around uh, focusing on the business value so as as agile is totally uh, there is there is a lot of transparency there is always a transparency so client or business who actually wants to develop something or who who have some idea uh, and they want to build that product they they have always the flexibility to prioritize the backlog items so you have the user stories which are in the in the product backlog uh, so business can reprioritize and rework on those stories and um, those stories can be taken up in the sprint to work further upon so every sprint um, prioritization happens with the business focus with the with the stakeholder uh, engagement and they have flexibility to reprioritize and rework on the stories uh, and then take them in the sprint for the delivery so the focus of agile software development is more on, is is more on you know like the business value another benefit is around focus on end user as in agile software development you get requirements in form of the user stories which is nothing but the end user it's it's kind of uh, explanation of the requirement as an end user how the end user user will be using that software and because of that it's it's sort of more of a end user language and simple language to understand to the whole team and to the business users of of the uh, team so it it brings everyone on the same page and when the software team is working on those stories their focus is how um, the software or how the end user will try to interact with the software because acceptance criteria is mentioned mentioned in the user stories and that acceptance criteria drives how the developer needs to code so that it meets that acceptance criteria and meets the end user requirement so the focus of agile software development is on end user as well uh, another benefit is that you get improved quality because you are doing uh, sprint by sprint delivery if you're following scrum so um, every every sprint you do design develop and, and test uh, and during that testing you un uh, uncover you know, like some defect and then in next sprint you start building on top of what you have built in the last sprint so you, there is an opportunity if something didn't um, something was missed in the last sprint and there were you know like there were some more issues around integration uh, in next sprint or further sprints they can be figured out and fixed during that whole cycle rather than waiting till the end phases and that is uh, why this whole incremental development that happens uh, integration testing and sort of um, regression testing keeps happening in each and every sprint and that improves quality of the end product uh, a lot so these are the some of the key benefits of agile software development hope you like the video uh, please do share and subscribe to get more informative videos like this. Thank you.